Hi, it's Chester at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Microsoft Word and we're looking at a document that has rogue or unwanted spacing and blank pages. Blank pages either in the middle of the document or at the end of the document. So if I just scroll down through this document, you'll see where we have problems. So for some reason, we've got a whole lot of spacing here, here, it gets worse as it goes on. And then at the very end of the document, you see we've got a table and we have a blank page at the end of the document. Now you may have tried to delete all these spaces and blank pages in the traditional way using the delete key or the backspace key and you've not had much luck. So how do we get around these problems? Well, the key to all of this really is to use this show hide button, which you'll see on the home tab of your ribbon. And if I just click on it, what it does is show non-printing characters in your document. So what do I mean by non-printing characters? Well, things like carriage returns and spaces, things that don't print out, but that are integral to your document. Now, if I scroll down, we start to see where the problems lie. For example, on this page, the reason I've got so much space and then next paragraph appears at the top of a new page is because someone's pressed enter, 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 enter to bring this paragraph down to the top of the next page. To get rid of those character turns, it is just a matter of selecting them and then pressing delete on your keyboard. Now the next space isn't caused by multiple carriage returns. It's caused by a page break. So there is a way of forcing a page break in Microsoft Word, and that forces the next paragraph to the top of the next page. To delete that, it's just a matter of selecting the page break and you can either drag over it to select it or click into the left margin just adjacent to it and it will select it and then if you press delete on your keyboard it will close that gap right let's scroll down to look at the next issue you can see that there is something here that is probably causing the gap and if i scroll down a little bit further you can see that there is something here also that's causing a gap and both of these gaps are caused by section breaks. Now, section breaks allow you to have different page formats on different parts of your document. For example, you may want one landscape page between two portrait pages. And the only way to achieve that is to create section breaks. So if I delete this section break, it may cause some formatting issues. To delete a section break is pretty much like deleting a forced page break. I need to select it. And in this instance, I'm just gonna to click to the left of it in the margin and then press delete on my keyboard. This one up here is a little bit trickier because the section break has been applied to this paragraph rather than a separate paragraph. So what I would need to do is press enter once and then twice to bring the section break down onto a separate line. Then I can select it and press delete on my keyboard. Now let's scroll down to the next issue. There's a gap here, but there is no page break or section break. So what is causing the gap? The clue here is this little square. This little square means that this paragraph has a formatting attribute applied to it that forces it to start at the top of the next page. And to get rid of that, what you need to do is click somewhere in that paragraph. Then on the home tab of your ribbon, click on this paragraph settings button. You need to go to the line and page breaks tab and untick this option page break before. Click on OK. And that will get rid of the gap. Right, let's scroll down. So with our last example, we have a table at the end of the document. Now when you put in a table, Word always includes a carriage return after the table and this carriage return is what is forcing this new page now if i try to delete it it has no effect the way around this is to select that carriage return and then reduce its font size so i can do that up here on the ribbon i'm going to press the decrease font size button until it is small enough to reside on the previous page and then i get rid of the blank page at the end of my document Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful to you and solved a few of your spacing problems. 
If you have found it useful, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.